foreign investors and discuss the matter and handed over the entire thing to and I told Mr. Kotu hereafter to discuss with him and let me know that I will get the cabinet approval everything. So that is how it happened. We specially came to you because of Satyal Satyal Income's uh, efforts. I have to tell that. <coughs> so in this project, actually we are building the accident and emergency uh, unit here. That is something like that we build in. Uh, uh, that we started in the you can go and see the new accident and emergency unit in Jaffna Hospital. And now two days back we opened another accident and emergency unit at the Vaunia Hospital. And also there is a radiology unit. There is a laboratory, there is an OPD and ward complex. So your director wanted another ward complex. So I told him to prepare the plan and estimates and give it to me so then I can approve that and get the funds from the central government. And I forgot the uh, honourable uh, about, you know that uh, the, and this uh, hospital, even honourable uh, Sumandran wanted to upgrade this to a district general hospital. I could remember when he was in Parliament, Honorable Sivaji Lingyo, about how many years back? About 14, 15 years back, he was making the same request. From the then, Health Minister, Nimashi Nipal Mishra, because I was a member of, from 1994, under every government, I was a member of the Health Consultative Committee. So, he made the request, the same request. But that time there was the war and all that, and those government didn't do much to the north and or even to the head. So now we have done enough. We have improved this hospital. There is a reason to make it. So I now I called and instructed them about uh, making this a district hospital. But they said because there is a teaching hospital just now, then there is a provincial. Uh, general hospital. So what they say, when there is a national hospital and then there is a provincial general hospital, according to the circular, according to their criteria, they don't, they can't make a uh, district general hospital. I said, the, I told the director, now the teaching hospital is a national hospital. That's under the line ministry. That has nothing to do with the province. That can cater to anyone. Provincial General Hospital is one for the province. It can be either in, uh, in the north, in any district, right? I said this is a general hospital for district. This is the third category. One for national, one for province, one for district. Make it. Then she agreed to amend the policy and the rules. Then I will make point way to the first district general hospital under the district. So, uh, and the other thing now we are building in Kirinochi. Kirinochi, uh, we are doing a, a maternity hospital, complete maternal hospital like the DMH in Kalam, specialized hospital in Kirinochi, and we are doing another. Uh, another development in Kilmach. Then also we are doing another in Manpur. We are building a, a center for rehabilitation. The first ever rehabilitation hospital in Sri Lanka. Once Manpur rehabilitation hospital and the psychotrauma unit is done, that would be the state of the art hospital. That is the best hospital available for rehabilitation in Sri Lanka. Especially, we thought of, I and Sati thought of doing this, especially because of thinking of the disabled people, because due to the 30 years of country. He was talking so much about the, uh, the disabled people, and I had a program to help each and every disabled person with care, health care. 
So he was planning and he was preparing the thing. Then the chief minister removed him for working too much because he wanted him to relax for in future to do more work. Uh, he, he selected all the good workers and sent and gave the bad ones. And they Dedishwar, Dedishwar and worked with me as a fisheries minister. And we did a lot of work here. When I came the first time as a fisheries minister, there was nothing fisheries. First time I handed over two lakhs to each fisherman, recommended by the fisheries organization, cash two lakhs in every any loan. My officers were scared. He was, they were talking about everything about it. See, I, I said, put the blame on me, I will pay it. Otherwise, you can, cannot develop. You have to give money to the fishermen today. Right? There was no trawlers in North, but by the time I left, there were nine trawlers in North. So, like that, the Ajishwaran worked hand in hand with me. He is a very good minister. He was also removed. Right? Then Satyalingam was removed. Otherwise, I had a plan to give health care to all the disabled people, who are bedridden people, whom, whom actually care for them. Because one day he, can you remember, you took me to a patient, a bedridden patient. When I came to North, there was a little time after time, he took me and to, uh, took me to that house where he is completely bedridden because he has been, you know, uh, something happened during the war. So he can't get up from the prison. The entire life is there. But with these rehabilitation centers, you know, I have seen this type of rehabilitation centers, where they, they get them to walk. They have certain equipment. They put it into the body and you can lift it. And he can at least stand. He can walk a little. Right? With the help of the equipment. All those things will be here in Manfulam when this hospital is open. And also then we are doing another cardiology centre in Vaunia. That is the hospital where Dr. Satyalingam worked at. Then another nephrology unit for the kidney patients. Then the OMM, the dental specialty. And all those specialties. So we are spending all that money. We are spending so much of money out of the 10,627 million. We are spending 4,396 million for equipment. Now you will be getting a CT scan in this hospital. Right, very soon there will be a CT scan of it, 128 slicers. Right, until I came, there were only 18 slicers CT scanners in this country. Right. So when I said the first two machines brought for Ambam Totem, no really I said this is the best in the country. Now the not the, the third best coming to the uh, two point three two. The and you will be uh, uh, we will be giving two CT scanners coming to the country, one to uh, point Petro, one to Hilma. And also uh, you know we are giving you a complete sewerage and waste water management system worth 200 million rupees worth of will be inaugurated here to clean all the, for the cleanliness of the hospital. That's a, from the Austrian money to oil paper. And also that you wanted the so the the for that uh, laparoscope. You wanted a laparoscope, so then I spoke to the BMI. There are another seven laparoscopes are coming, so I told to give one to Point Petro. So you will be receiving the laparoscope in about very soon, okay? okay. You contact them and get it done. And also you wanted a pediatrician. So pediatrician, the next pediatrician is coming next month, so he will be appointed to Point Petro. And also the anesthetist you spoke to me, uh, the, v, the, v, the VP is I am going on leave on maternity leave. That means at least one year. So, uh, 
Um, uh, then I spoke to him again, so there will be the uh, new VP. He will come here until the matter will be withdrawn. He can come and go. And also, anesthetist, you said there is only a most uh, working here. So I spoke to the men, they said they will arrange. There are four anesthetists at the uh, teaching hospital just now. They will direct one anesthetist to come and work here on the theater. Here. So that will be with the other problems. So these are the things actually we have done and uh, we will do our best to improve the health facilities in Jaffna, in the northern province. You must remember that when allocation of money by this government, after western province, we have allocated northern province the highest allocation uh, every year. And I have done my best to look after the health and we have started a lot of big projects. I think every district we have done so much uh, in and this is today by law and when these projects are being completed, this will be one of the best provinces in health facilities. They are So because people who have suffered for 30 years, so we are, it is our duty to compensate uh, them. Not to have any more suffering and do our best for them. And also to settle your political problems as early as possible and have permanent peace in this country and complete comradeship between the Sinhalese, the Tamils and the Muslims and the Burgers and have one nation policy uh, the Sri Lankan nation. So I thank people like uh, Dr. Satyarinjam and I pray hereafter uh, in the future not only the Minister of Health that he to become the Chief Minister for Northern Province and serve the entire Northern Province but hold the post of Minister of Health. Okay. Even though. So then you can start because with his knowledge being a doctor, he can serve the health as well as the province. And Honorable Sivadi he is he my very good friend. We both have appeared in the TV discussions together against the Rajapaksas those days. So, okay. so but uh, halfway he left the battle. Went for you know, uh, actually, uh, ask him for very speedy actions, right? Your, your speed must be controlled. <laughs> I also, in my young days, I also had a very high speed. <laughs> so, later I thought that I am running, but the people are behind. So, there is no use. I have to run with the people, not behind the people, not uh, in front of the people. That is what Mao has said. So learn from Mao, okay? <laughs> there are people who have made revolutions a uh, success. So you have to walk with the people, you have to run with the people, you have to understand the people, what the people want, where the people stand. If the people want a revolution, yes, you have to go for that. If the people are not for that, then you have to go on the democratic way talking to the people and march with the people, not in front of the people. Then you will be isolated, whether in front of or... That is what had happened. He has sacrificed so much, he was assaulted, he was all, all, almost dead, hiding in fights, no? Fights. Yes. yes, I remember the history. Right? So the same parliament, he and the assailant, both were uh, <laughs> seated together in the same part. The one who assaulted him also came as a member of parliament and said, and we were watching the debates between the assailant and the assaulted, <laughs> making each other. He was blaming that man for assaulting. He was uh, pleading, no, he never did it. I could remember one day he came to me because I was supporting him. For the, then he came and told me all the, this thing and he is misunderstanding. I, I was never involved and all. So anyways, you are living them also, they are people who must be, must represent us, the people in parliament. So, check your speed and uh, get into the correct part and come to parliament at the next election. We will work together for the benefit of the poor people in the home. So, and I pray that we will have a better future for the, uh, for these, uh, for the northern people who have suffered for 30 years all the hardships in this country, in the year, so many people died, so many people got displaced, 
So many people lost their kids and things. So many people had a lot of miseries in their life. What they have seen and happened. What uh, they are like. So we will, it is our only prime duty is to make them happy. Thank you.